is this guy the most important member of the Senate for the Second Amendment? We'll talk about that today. But before we get into that, if you like what I do here, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on all notifications and punch the join button below. I also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash John Crump. Now let's dig deeper. Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is John Crump. I am an investigative journalist concentrating on 2A issues. I try to keep the government agencies in check, such as the ATF and the FBI, when it comes to gun rights. Speaking of gun rights, I'm also a gun rights advocate. I am the state director for the state of Virginia for Gun Owners of America. Gun Owners of America is the only no compromise gun lobby in dc we are brought to you by tusk tusk is a gun friendly cryptocurrency and it has really low transaction times and really low transaction fees you can find out more by going to tusk t-u-s-c dot network tell them i sent you all right now let's get into this who is this guy this guy is joe manchin he's a democrat from wild wonderful west virginia why is he so important he's a democrat so he has to be anti-gun right well he's anti-gun as i am pro-gun i guess you can say he's not gun friendly as i would like but he's not a rabid anti-gunner which is a good thing but that's not why he's the key to saving the second amendment there's a couple different things with good old Joe Manchin here. One is that he said he will not vote to get rid of the filibuster. We have to keep the filibuster. If the filibuster gets away from us, then we're screwed as gun owners. Basically, anything that the House passes will go up to the Senate, and the Senate is going to pass it. It's just the way it is because that's the way politics works. All right, so you have all these Bloomberg paid politicians in the House. They're going to pass a bill. And when it comes to the Senate, it usually cools off there. My good friend Jordan Stein always says that the Senate is where bills go to cool off because you need a supermajority to pass it. The nuclear option three, as they call it, is killing the legislative filibuster, which means you don't need a supermajority anymore. And the Democrats will have power that is unprecedented in our country. There will be never a more powerful political party than the Democrats if they get rid of the legislative filibuster. That means anything that they want, they can pass without even considering the Republicans. Right now, the Senate is broken between 50-50, right? So 50% Republicans, 50% Democrats, 50 Republicans, 50 Democrats. But the tiebreaker is Kamala Harris. And we all know that she's not a very friendly person to the Second Amendment, as evident in the amicus brief that she filed in the Heller case where she said the individual does not have a right to bear arms. Yes, you got that right. She tried to say that the only people that are allowed to own guns are the military and the state. While at the same time trying to defund police, I don't know exactly how that works, but she's an idiot, so there you go. Well, actually, I don't think she's an idiot. I think she's pretty smart, but I think that she is morally, how do I say it? Morally, morally questionable, maybe? Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably the nicest way to say, um, I don't know. All right, so... Well, what will they do if Joe Manchin kills the filibuster? One, pass everything that the House sends them, which I already talked about. Two, make D.C. and Puerto Rico a state, which are liberal strongholds. Therefore, it will give them the power forever, basically. Three. Three. Yeah. Three. <laughs> pack the court. They will pack the court. What does that mean? It means that they will take the Supreme Court, which right now is nine justices, 
and expand it to 13 or whatnot. So they will have control. So let's say a Second Amendment issue gets brought up or they pass a bad law. Let's say they pass a law banning all semi-automatic rifles, which is what they want, right? So it goes to the Senate. The Senate passes it because there's no more filibuster. Us gun owners have to sue because there's no more filibuster and it passed. So we get up to the Supreme Court, but now the Supreme Court is packed with liberal Democrats who hate guns and don't care what the founding father said, don't care what the meaning of the second amendment is. They hate guns. They're judicial advocates. What they're going to do is take the constitution, crumble it up and throw it in a trash can because that's what the Dems do. I'm very hard on Democrats, but you know what? They deserve it. If you're a Democrat and you let your party get this far off the beaten track of Second Amendment issues, then you need to make a change, man. You have to change over to the Republican Party, Libertarian Party, or you have to change your party from within. And if you can't change your party from within, you have to leave because you're voting to take away people's rights. And you know that, and that's wrong, and that's evil. So if you vote Democrat, you're evil. All right, so they crumble up the Constitution, throw it in the wastebasket. So what happens? We lose our rights. And that leads to that, or we become slaves. And I don't want to become a slave. I don't want to be in servitude. I don't want to have shackles. I don't want this. So we have to put pressure on Joe Manchin and tell him he has to keep his promise to the American people that he will not vote to get rid of the filibuster. Right now, Joe Manchin is the most important person in the Senate. I encourage every single one of you to reach out to Joe Manchin, especially if you live in his district, in his state, in West Virginia, and tell him, no, you do not want to get rid of the filibuster. He has to keep his promise. This guy right here is going to be the savior or the downfall of the Second Amendment. And it's up to you to make sure that he knows what is the right choice. All right, with that said, that's it for me. Short video today. No show. I got some scout stuff going on. I will be back with the show tomorrow, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm thinking about taking it tomorrow off. But if I have a show, I have a show. If I don't, I don't. If not, I'll see you on Friday or yesterday or tomorrow. You like how I did that? All right. My name is John Crump. I am the Virginia State Director for Gun Owners of America. Check out my stuff at MLN.com. With that said, I am out of here, so stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I'm out. Bye.